and welcome back to the channel. So today I have another review for you. This time the WWE Ultimate Edition Ric Flair from Mattel. Now just a quick heads up, if you're not a fan of Ric Flair, then what are you doing here? But also if you don't like him or his woo, then maybe stop watching now because I'm gonna kill it with popping those in all over the place once I edit this video. So don't say you weren't warned. So taking a look at the packaging, it's that nice big open display that we've seen before. Looks like Mattel aren't going the same path as Hasbro and getting rid of the plastic and just going into plasticless packaging. And although it is good for the environment to get rid of the plastic, I do like this open display. I think it's just a throwback to those figures that I had when I was a kid when you can actually see what's in the box and I do like this design as well it opens up like a shoebox if you're not familiar it's very easy to put all the accessories back in and have him displayed in the box nice big picture of the nature boy on the side and then on the back another picture of Ric Flair six foot one hmm. I always thought he was much shorter than that I reckon that's a little bit of a mistake so anyway, I paid, I think $25 for him from Ringside Collectibles. So I was very happy with the price, but then unfortunately had him shipped over to Australia. Not so happy with that. Anyway, let's open him up and take a look. Okay, here he is out of the packaging with all his accessories. And first impressions, kind of disappointed. Anyway, we'll get to why, but let's take a look at the accessories. So starting off with the cloth goods robe, this is actually very nice. It's got some weight to it. It has this really thick lining around it for the feather bow, I guess. It has the nice embroidery Nature Boy on it. Bit campy, but then hey, he's the Nature Boy. And those sleeves are really well done too, look. That's really cool. We'll pop that on him in a moment, but it's nice to have that. I've said it before and I'll say it again, not a huge fan of soft goods in this scale, but there are a few exceptions and this may be one of them. He also comes with his championship belt. Now, this is a little bit lackluster. You can't really make out any of the details. It does say World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion on there, but and it also has a WWE. But that's about it. I think they could have done a little bit better. They could have maybe gone a bit deeper or put a wash or something. And these are just tacked on. That's a bit of a shame. This is the first experience I've had with one of the old school belts in an Ultimate line. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, well. And then he comes with alternate hands, a left and a right forefinger hand. And he has his tape on his hands as the nature boy is often a case and then he has a nose picking left and right hand and then also these pointless in my opinion default gripping hands that come with these figures i guess in this case it's not too pointless because you could do him you know holding his robe or the belt but where are the fisted hands Mattel, what are you doing? You blew it. Give us some fisted hands. With an ultimate, always have fisted hands as default. Come on, get that right. And then this alternate head sculpt. I do actually like this because we've got to have a woo, absolutely, with a nature boy. We need it. Um, I don't know that I'll display him with it though because it is a little bit unusual looking, but it is nice to have it. Again, the face sculpt, it's not too bad. But the hair, similar to the belt, we could have had a wash or something on there in the sculpting. It's just a little bit lazy, I think. Maybe I'm asking for too much, but then this is the Ultimate Edition figure. Just expect a little bit more. And uh, let's just take a quick comparison with those head sculpts. So you can tell that it's the Nature Boy. Woo! I don't remember his hair being that blonde, particularly in this era. I think it was a little bit whiter than that, but even so, you can still tell who it is. So accessories, not the best, but not bad. Okay, so taking a close look at the Nature Boy, something we haven't seen before with the Elite and the Ultimate Edition figures, standard book, the smaller book. At the back though is an exception because they've got these extra pieces here for the um, butterfly joints at the shoulders. He also has bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, full rotation at the peg for the wrist, 
Those arms are really annoying me how they don't go down. They just stick out like that. You can't have them down at all. Yeah, that's really frustrating. It just looks odd. Like that. Anyway, he does have the cut here, so he has a fair amount of ab crunch. Not really too much down, but he does get a whole lot back. Full rotation on the peg at the head. And then here for the legs, they stuffed up because he can get all the way forward and all the way out, but he ain't going back at all. They stuffed up because his pants are hindering it. So you cannot go back any further. He does have a cut though at the thigh and a double jointed knee. He also has the boot cut. Toe hinge. And the ankle rocker. In terms of the overall look, I don't mind it apart from the ridiculous arms and the lack of fisted hands. I think the colour choice that they've picked is quite nice. Let's see what that robe looks like. And maybe let's try the belt. Okay, so just as quick as I was to slag him off, I'm just as quick to adjust my opinion because with his ridiculously flamboyant robe and the belt, he actually looks very good. And even with the arm sticking out like that now, because you are gonna display him like that, I suppose, with his arms out. So I actually don't mind that. That's not bad, I've come round. And for a quick size comparison, so remember that he's billed at six foot one, which I think is not accurate. And here is Big John Tenta or Earthquake. So he was around six foot seven. So yeah, that's not quite right. But there you go, he scales well. So my final thoughts on the WWE Ultimate Edition Ric Flair. I think I have an issue with that term Ultimate Edition because for me this really isn't the Ultimate Edition. It's a good figure but it's not really a huge distinction from the Elite line. Yeah we get a different box, a slightly better box, a few extra accessories but even the Elites come with good accessories nowadays so I'm not really sure other than the price what the difference is here. Now don't get me wrong, this is a nice figure and it is a good representation of Ric Flair. I don't think that there's anything particularly great about it, but it's also not terrible. I don't like the body, how his arms don't stand by his sides, it's a bit weird, but the robe does save that. I do think though that the belt could have had a bit more detail to it and the lack of fisted hands is also a big no-no for me. I really want fisted hands. I think here with some of the wrestlers, fisted hands, maybe you don't always need them, but don't give us just those grabbing hands. They look really weird on the shelf. That being said, the price is relatively low at 25 to $35 US. They're not bad at all. Unfortunately for me, I have to get them imported, so I'm paying a premium on top of that. So I don't know if I can continue with this line. I have a few other figures that I'll end up reviewing and then I'll make my decision then. But as it stands, he's good, but he's not great. So if you like this content, then please do consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.